Hello everyone! Welcome to Candlewick's Comments, a cacophony of crisp commentary. I'm your host, Candlewick, and today we'll be exploring a spooky game called Deep Sleep. Right this way, if you please. All right, so here we go. This is Deep Sleep, one of the very first spooky games I ever played. So this is my very first time also doing a commentary, so I'm going to be a little bit, you know, loopy on this one, but that's okay. We're just going to go right in and start exploring. When you look into an abyss, the abyss also looks into you. Friedrich Nietzsche. Oh, this is a lovely bedroom! So, I already kind of know how this game goes because I've played it so many times, but I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what's going on at all. This is a comfy piece of cheese right here, that's what that is. I've just woken up, but I want to go back to bed because that is my mood all the time. Can I touch this pillow? That's still that. We've got very nice celery wallpaper over here. Is that me? Oh, I can't click on the photo. There's me in the photo. I look beautiful. Alright, we got a clock that I can't click on. Can I have a drawer? I cannot. Oh, I found a key in the vase. Alright, that's awesome. It's locked. Good thing I got this key. Oh, except I can't actually grab it. There we go. Okay. Before I click that, I'm just going to see if there's like secrets. It's also locked. Aww. Oh, I broke the world. Whoops. Alright. I don't know if those are pyramids or giant anthills in the background. They're very spooky looking though. Oh, a skeleton man. Hello. Would you like a box? Do you want this box? He doesn't like the box. Alright, I got his arm. <laughs> Sorry. You can have it back when I'm done, I promise. Alright. So we've got... No. We've got a cube with a keyhole. A bone. Put the bone in the keyhole. No. Okay, never mind. I don't wanna. I don't like bones. I don't like phones at all. Ooh. There are big cracks in this wall. There sure are. It's beautiful. Let's take it in. Alright, so I could go into the spooky basement, or I could go into the spooky outdoors. It's a hard choice, but I'm gonna say- Oh no, it's louder here. Never mind, I'm going in the spooky basement. Okay. <sighs> Do I really want to, though? Ooh. It's like some kind of hotel. Nothing here. But what is it though? Is it like a hotel with key cards? Can I have one? Oh! I can ring the bell! I forgot about that! That's awesome! Ding 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 ding! Is that cookies? Oh. <laughs> it's not cookies. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. At this point, you should know that all this is not real. I hope the inner awakening went well, and you have a full, lucid control over the dream. Sincerely, yourself. I'm so thoughtful to write notes to myself like that. Oh, water. I can't move that. Can I splash in the puddle? Can I soak the water? Can I soak the cube? Can I put the tesseract in the water? Nope. Okay. Alright, that's fine. It's locked. That's okay. I didn't want to go in there anyway. Whoa. There's the inferno of doom over there. Okay, we got... What is that? A potato? <laughs> it's a piece of old cloth. Okay. 
That's what I love about point and click adventures. Like until you actually click on some description, sometimes you just don't know what things are. I got a rock. Oh, this is the best day. But like I was saying, sometimes you can't tell exactly what objects are, and that's part of why it's spooky and also hilarious. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, not with this inferno inside. That's not the only thing that's in there. I'm not going to open that. So I don't know why I actually tried to open that. Oh, it needs a lever. A lever? Here, have a rock. Never mind. Have a potato. Have a bone. Oh! I turned it off. That's good. Can I open it now? Ouch! The handle is hot! Alright. Let's see. Can I take that cauldron with me? Nope. Can I go in here? Nope. Ooh! Can I... Can I put the potato... I know it's a cloth, but I'm gonna call it a potato. Oh no, it's a wet potato. <gasps> Can it be a hot potato? Can I put it in here and make it a hot potato? Okay. It's wet, which is cold, so therefore I can open that. Oh, my potato. Oh, it's, it's still here. Okay, I'm gonna clean this with my potato. Oh. I actually can clean this with a potato. Oh, and my cursor. Alright. Time to just put my paws all over this thing. There's a very nice brickwork underneath here. I'm gonna restore this old furnace. It's gonna be as beautiful as it was in its prime. Ooh, and there's a secret code that I'm not gonna remember. But it's pretty. It's pretty. It's important. That is the word I needed. Can I clean this whole thing? What happens if I clean the whole thing? Is there like a spooky secret? I'll be right back, you guys. I'm gonna clean this entire furnace. This is a large furnace. I'm regretting undertaking this. I gave up on cleaning the furnace, but here is our code, you guys. We have 9425. Everybody remember that? Oh! That's a, is that a thing? That is a thing. Look right here, you guys, in this little corner. There's like a tiny... Look, chink! Small key. What was the number? 9425. Alright, here we go. 9425. I have a feeling I know what it goes to. Oh, phew, it's not that. Okay, never mind. I have to answer the phone. It smells really bad from there. Alright. Hello. Something, people. You're whispering, dude. I can't hear ya. Ooh, a creaky door. Right. Ooh, a flashlight with no batteries. It's cold outside. Okay. It's locked. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh, it's a little plant. It's dead. Ah, uh, that's not a dead- can I hang up on that? No, okay. That is not a dead plant. I have killed plants. That one is very much alive. But I have pretty low planting standards, so, uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not alive, maybe it is dead, and I just don't know anything about plants. Ooh! 
carrots. Batteries. I know what those are for. Woo! Alright. So what have I got? I have a flashlight. Cloth. A lucky piece of coal. And a cube. Do I have anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Can I go down here? Nope. Can I go to the cracks of the wall? Can I bash it in with my flashlight? Never mind. Oh, I'm back in the basement. <gasps> That's open. That wasn't open before. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. No. Uh. Oh, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have. Then here we have another vase. It's a sign. It's a spooky door. <gasps> Little walking horse. It's old and squeaky. It's so cute. Ooh, a little poem. Little Cody is lost without his plushy tiger. Okay. Where's the door? <laughs> oh. Okay, I just back out. Oh! I saw you. I saw that. Also, I have technology so I can spy on you. But enough of that. Oh, I didn't want to go closer. I wanted to no. I wanted to see what those vine things were. Okay, there's a nice bright light here. Spooky door over here. Let's go on the spooky door. That is the same thing. Oh. Alright. Newspapers everywhere. Oh, that's so sad. This is the sadness room right here. This is this is not good. Here's <laughs> what <with> this is. <laughs> okay, that one's only funny because it sounds like a tabloid title. Like, like you're just walking through the grocery store and you're passing the chips and candy, and all of a sudden, that's not the same thing that I grabbed, and all of a sudden. You see that, just on the rack, and you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. Right up there with Bigfoot. What did I do to get here? Was I, like, messing with something that I shouldn't have done? Oh, these ones are broken. Did I break them? Did I break windows? Is that why I'm trapped here in this room? What colored? I forgot the number of the code. Nine, two, three. Huzzah! Can I? Can I drag it? Oh, I have to click it. Oh no. <sighs> I win? It's not fully open yet. Do it, do it need to be though. I can fit through there. I'm a teeny kitty. Now it's open. Yay! Flashlight. Ooh. This looks like the, uh, a ventilation shaft or something. This doesn't look like a normal hallway. No furry bobbert. Barrels? A box. Box. Oh, can I have it? Oh, I got it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. oh, I don't like it. I don't want it. Go away. 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 I don't, I don't want it. Are you gone? Okay. Can I go down? Oh, I got a hook. That's nice. Oh, I can become a pirate. So 
So I have, what do I have in my little backpack of surprises? Tesseract, a rock, a potato, flashlight, a pickaxe, and a hook. All right. Oh, oh, I know what this is for. This is for the, um, this thingy, this thing. I feel cold air from the other side. Very suspicious. Ooh. That's cool, it's like a little skull shape right there. Oops, I broke your door. Sorry. Oh, it's the ocean! Oh, it's so nice. What's this little cavern thing? Oh. Interesting. Oh, what I get? Checkerboard! A net. A net that looks like a checkerboard. I love it. It's a bold design in fishing. Here's a little... With many stairs. Hi! Creepy painting. Yes, it is. Let's see. We gotta give this lady a name. Because I just feel the name. She's the first person I've seen in here besides besides the creepy the creepy spooky monstery thing. I think we'll name the lady Lady Pickaxe, because that's what my cursor happened to my god. This is Lady Pickaxe, who owns the lighthouse. Alright, what do we got up here? We have It looks like I can click on it, but there's nothing Oh, okay. Put a hook in it? No? This is it. No. Click, click. Click, click. Alright. Farewell, Lady Pickaxe. We will meet again. Well, you know what? Now I feel bad for the other monster guy. We gotta give him a name, too. I think we'll name him... Bobbert. His name will be Bobbert. Like... I don't know where I'm going at this point. I forget what happens. Oh, I remember. You do this. You have a net with a hook. And then... How do I get outside? Oh! Oh! Oh, the window! Yes! Wake up! Oh, it's the mystery man! You have to wake up! Oh. Goodbye! Sorry, I didn't mean to close that. I got a golden key. It looks somehow familiar. I don't know how. It's very pretty. But I don't know what that's familiar from. What can I do with this? Ooh, can I open the Tesseract? Ooh! I love that sound effect, by the way. It's so beautiful. Can I, can I just jump off? Can that be a thing? Cause the beach is like right there. It's not that high up. Probably. At least for me, cause I'm a cat. So I can jump pretty far distances. What was I doing with this? Clean it with a potato. No. Oh, I remember, I remember. You have to go to the lighthouse. Say hello to Lady Pickett. Hello. And put this thing in the thing. Woo! Oh, there's a bit of a delay there. Good to know. Good to know. Let's see. I have the trusty pickaxe, I have a flashlight, potato, a rock. <gasps> it's Bobbert. He brought his friends. Do you want a rock? They're blocking the way. Do you want a potato? Do you want a flashlight? Do you want a pickaxe? Alright. Well, Bobbert, if you want a. Uh, if you want a flashlight. Oh! No, no thanks. Oh no! 
Bobber has transformed into millions of gnats. I'm sorry, Bobber. I didn't mean to. And then, just like that, I woke up. The nightmare was over, but my life has changed forever. Was it all just a dream? Or were these creatures real? I have to know. I just have to know the truth. I can't stop thinking about it. I have to go back. Back to the deep sleep. So that was a deep sleep and one of my very first reviews. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips for me, pointers, comments, questions, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know. I will get back to you. If there is a certain spooky game you want me to play, that is free to access because those are my favorites. Also let me know and maybe it'll show up in the next video. Pause up, friends.